bear markets are rough, you guys. Bear, like even in 2020, like we're coming out of it. Like we're coming out. Like it. Uh, I mean, like I would say, uh, that it didn't really like. <sighs> okay, I would say like November of 2020 is when like, oh, bro, we're really out of this, bitch. We're we're in a bull run right now. But unless you were in Ethereum meme coins on on Uniswap to catch the run up on either like. Like either it was you, you either were in Hex or you were in Chainlink, you were in the Uniswap token, you were in one of those, or you were in synthetics, like very limited tokens. Everything else, I mean, like Ethereum and Bitcoin just went lazily up. Everything and those few meme coins or these micro cap shit coins that instantly, like orbs <laughs> and all these other stuff that <laughs> up really quickly and disappeared. Um, you stopped making money about about around June, July, they stopped making money. And then it was kind of this lull period where they, they kind of went down and you had Bitcoin Ethereum still kind of lazily going up. And then we just hit a point where like, oh my God, like when it was that moment, I, I say it all the time. It's like when Bitcoin hit like 27 grand is mm -hmm. when like, cause like we kept hitting, we kept hitting like 19,000, 21,000, 22,000, but like, oh bro, one little dip and we're back down. When we hit 27, Oh, dude! Whoa! And then we're like, I mean, I remember even saying to our guys at the time, "Bros, we need to throw money at the market." We're like, <laughs> well, I remember <laughs> telling the guys, started, it, "I felt like this." I was like, "Oh, it started!" Oh crap! 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 crap. <laughs> yeah, well, because I remember we saw it coming, right? Because like, um, well, first crypto mindset of course, uh, the first crypto mindset course that we did was September of 2020. Yeah. Price was around 12, 11k, something like that. Yeah, yeah. And we we're like, shit, we need to start this. We need to go out with this course now instead of at the end of the year like we wanted to because price is going to go up. And I remember saying during that course that the first target out of 20K, once we break that, is 27 based on, you know, the pattern and everything. And everybody's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, literally, as soon as we broke 20K, yeah, it immediately went to 27. And then, like, everybody's like, oh, shit, you know. But, like, I think a lot of people uh, heard about the projections, just didn't believe it. But the, you know, people, like you said, people like to buy tops, right? So, um, you know, a bunch of people filed in there. And then what happens? It drops down to like 22K after that, chills, and then it goes crazy again. But uh, yeah, like uh, it was kind of a, a disbelief phase of that of that really big all season. Yeah. And, you know, like James has said, like he snagged Bitcoin wick $300 less than the low, right? And this is the whole thing is me and Charlie have literally streamed during multiple cycle lows. Yeah. Oh, like last cycle and this cycle. And people, it's kind of funny. I like, you know, since we're streaming, we're like, oh, dude, like sometimes we've been on here and like the prices are actually wicking down to the lows. And because I've been on stream, I haven't been able to buy those prices. Like we've had yeah. guys in the chat. Like I, I remember when Ethereum literally hit its all time low, like it, uh, you know, officially it's like $800 rough, roughly on the lows, but I saw it wick down to like 780, 760. And we had, I have multiple people in this chat right now that bought Ethereum at 700 bucks recently. I mean, in this, within this cycle. You know, last cycle, I mean, unless you were there, you don't really believe it. But like a theory, most people say, oh, yeah, theorem last cycle hit like, you know, $81. No, it hit 70, like $76, $72, depending on where you bought it. You could have bought $70 Ethereum. It's just most people, like the thing is, is like charts kind of erase history. Like, I, like, I, I think it's more like an different average. Exchanges, well, yeah, yeah, different exchanges have different prices based on their liquidity levels and different things like that. So one exchange will have a price difference of maybe like a couple of dollars. One will be a few hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, and then the uh, historical data will get smoothed out oftentimes like on CoinGecko based on uh, weekly or daily closes instead of intraday price action. So that that short eight hour period that you go boom, boom, you know, you go down and back up is ignored by some charts basically. 